let's jump into to each member of of Team Europe, and we'll start off with uh jason shaw you know he it doesn't seem like that long ago mike that jason was kind of the newcomer to the team but now if you look at the you know the makeup of the of the roster it's almost like he he's one of the veteran guys now he's, he's been around so long yeah it's a it's a young team you know which is scary uh because they're really young um you know alvin and 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 jason are, are the old guys um and uh jason you know one of the best players you know top five players in the world you know, especially when, when he's going, he's, he's, he's right up there. Uh, last couple of years in Moscone, a little uneven with his play. Um, and I think if anybody's going to benefit from a lack of a crowd, it's going to be Jason, because I think the crowd is what bit him the last two years. Um, I think, you know, not that the crowd spooked him. I just think he get, he, he got himself two years ago in 2018. There was no doubt that he got himself way over amped. For a couple of those matches and uh the, the key match that he lost to skyler um you know he fouled twice in the same rack um and they were not you know hard fouls so um i think that that having him play it a little more of an even keel uh but still maintain his emotions is going to be a benefit for him that's an interesting take because yeah jason is, is is very beloved especially especially when they're playing in europe um, and he really gets it going with the fans. So it's interesting that, that you think that's held him back the, the last couple of years. And it'll be interesting to see how he responds to uh, kind of the different uh, setup for this year's event without the fans.